Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Finally. I know. <laughs> we finally got the right intro song. That's Brandon Calhoun, Lost to be Found. Hey, After Buzzers, and welcome to another Battle Creek After Show. Tonight we're going to talk about Season 1, Episode 5, Old Flames. And before we dive into the episode, I want to make sure you guys are all subscribed to us on YouTube. YouTube.com slash After Buzz TV. Make sure you also get the podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud too. And rate, comment, subscribe wherever. And throughout the week, be sure you guys tweet to us. We want to know yeah. what you guys think about the show. So talk to us. I'm Lauren Salon, and you can find me on Twitter at Lauren Salon. And I'm joined tonight by Gary Thomas. Gary, how's it going? Of course, you guys can find Well, I'm great, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so used to going straight in. <laughs> Of course, you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Gary Thomas and I am Gary Thomas.com. Awesome. So let's dive into it. We open up tonight's episode at a strip club for Funk's bachelor party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready for them to get married already. <laughs> I want to meet her. Right. They talk about it all the time. It's I'm like, so excited to meet her. I have I, I don't know what to expect. I don't either. He has all these like crazy stories about her. Yeah, like, crazy stories. I feel like she's going to be like banging hot or something. It has to be some type of twist with it. It's something like <laughs> shocking. Definitely. So I think this is like a new side of Russ. Like yeah. I mean, the alcohol brought out this whole new thing with Russ being in chaps and all this completely right. unexpected. Definitely. I thought it was a lot of fun. He like lost a bet or, Definitely, or something. Yeah. But I, it was so fun to see them all hanging out together too. And guess you know? who wasn't there? I, no, <laughs> I know. I felt a little bad for him. I mean, I get that he is the new guy in town, but... Everyone else in the department, aside from Russ, seems to be so obsessed with Milt. You know, they want him right. around all the time. So I, I'm a little surprised he didn't get an invite. Do you think they had to, like, choose? Well, I think we're just making up a story. This is not, like, a reality TV show. <laughs> Why did they do that? All right. I, think they leave Russ, I think they had to choose between Russ and Milt. Maybe. But I don't, I don't know. Is the beef that beefy? Um, is that awkward? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So they're at the bachelor party at a strip club. The only thing person we see stripping is Russ, which is great. And, the, right. and not even Thank stripping. I mean, he's just like swings around the pole, falls over. And then they get, they all get a call that there has been a fire at Gusewitz's house. 1315. They say that's yeah, Commander's 1350. house. 1350. They're like, oh, wait, I know that address. And so they all rush over. It ends up, you know, they, this becomes the big priority case for them you know drop everything else you're doing we're going to focus on this one of our own has been threatened which they learn you know that it's arson he said i don't care if the purge is happening yeah like, i don't what? care if it's the purge out there this is this is the priority and we've seen before how they're very you know loyal to each other so mm -hmm. it's it's obviously i wouldn't expect anything less for them to all band together to to solve whatever's going on and find find the bad guy right um and so her dog, Gusewitz's dog, didn't bark when whatever happened. So they think a Molotov cocktail was thrown th through the window to ignite the whole house. And the dog didn't end up barking, which they later think that it maybe started inside. So they're like, okay, maybe it's somebody that I know, you know? Yeah, because the window was open. They could tell that right. the window was open before the fire actually started. Yeah, exactly. And so they had started, so they've got a couple different directions going. They're starting to look into anyone who, so Russ and Milt are looking into anyone who Gusewitz put away who's recently been released, mm -hmm. you know, see if somebody's trying to get revenge on her. And then the rest of the team is looking into past boyfriends. Because if it's someone the dog knew, <laughs> maybe it's someone she was dating. And she left no one out. <laughs> there were the skinny, there it. were the fat, there was every race possibly I known it. to me. Like, like, right. like, she's like, you know, she, she likes left it nothing, all. Every flavor. Left nothing to curiosity. Like, you just 
dated out 17 in three years? 17 guys in three years. It's like, uh, how? Yeah, girl. She said it was a good three years. <laughs> I know. And all of them, I love this. They're questioning all these guys. And they're like, and she ended it she out just... of the blue for no reason. <laughs> it was like she was canceling an appointment. The more you get to know Gusewitz, the more you just laugh and like this character. It... I know. I, I really love tonight's episode because we did get to see, learn a lot about her. It... We, I think it helped because, you know, we were, remember we were kind of misunderstanding the um, last, ep- not last episode, but two episodes ago when we were watching her with the um, the parents one, the one that we're, mm. um, the one, the, the father wanted to take the fall right, for the daughter. Right. We were like, you know, she has a different kind of heart. Yeah. And this episode definitely opened up way more pos- possibilities of really diving yeah. into who Gusewitz is. And I think it really helped understand like, the previous episodes. Right. Yeah. Great point. I, I completely agree. You know, we were like, oh, that was really tender of her. You know, right. she's been a pretty tough character so far. And that was a really tender moment back when that happened. She's like, if the dad wants to do that for his daughter, let him. And, and we see that she, you know, she has a son herself. And exactly. Which I... I liked that that storyline because she this was a a little boy that had been um you know a son of this couple that they're a big, big domestic abuse or abuse case and mm-hmm. you know needed someone to look over him and so she said okay fine I'll I'll take him and ends up adopting this boy Danny and I loved that that twist of it cuz that's I a did. big I did too. You know that wasn't it's not like she was necessarily looking to I mean, we don't we don't know. She could have been thinking about it or right. something. But, you know, she took this little boy in and has raised him ever since, which sounds like it's been a, quite a handful. He's been a bit problematic. And that, yeah. Had yeah. Drug issues and stuff. But but I liked that a lot. I like seeing more of those layers of her character. Exactly. I think she gives this probably real or unreal. We don't really know because neither of us are police officers, but she gives this view of a woman in, poli- in the police force and what happens in her life and things that could happen to her mm-hmm. you know she just gives us a different side to look at because there's so many men in it and you know we don't really see Aaron and Holly we don't really get to dive into to them in this aspect but we get to see so many more sides of Goose Witch and just trying to understand what it's like to be in the forest as, as a woman you know yeah yeah I liked it I like that episode this episode a lot because of that so, you know, yeah the her layers that they pulled back on her which is so good right and it seemed like a much more I mean, it uh, it went deeper, this episode. I feel yes. like so many of the other ones, they, well, they haven't obviously really been focused on one of their own people. So this one is all focused, you know, she's the, the victim in this situation. And so it was it was really neat to see that kind of, you know, part of the family. Right. They I opened guess. up so many cans of worms. Oh, yeah. Like, it was just crazy. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so we've got Gusewitz's son, which... You know, he's not who ends up that he's in Battle Creek after all. You know, she thought he was down in Florida, mm-hmm. right? You know, and that he'd been there for the last three years. Therefore, that's why she was, you know, living it up with all the men and stuff. And but it turns out that he's been in Battle Creek this whole time living in a halfway house. And she goes to visit him numerous times because he ends up being a potential suspect. And He's so cold to her. It made me so sad. She was just being hurt left and right. And Russ was trying to help as best as he could. Because, mm-hmm. you know, Russ knows the boy and they have a relationship, relationship right. of their own because her and Russ have worked together for so long. But it was just painful. I know. Just... I'm like, don't say that to your mom. What are you doing? <laughs> go she, give her a hug. She never wanted to go. But to, for her to even hold it together, she's like she played, yeah. she played this whole episode very, very well. I know. Not even like a quiver or a watery eye. Right. It's tough. Yeah, she definitely did. Like, this was a, such a good episode for her. Yeah. Like, just so, seeing a different character besides Russ and Milt all the time, and just <laughs> <laughs> I love them, but right, <laughs> they're bickering. Come on, every episode, and it's just getting awkward. And you know, they just I like how they took the time to just you know dive into a character. I like mm-hmm. if they do this kind of you know scattered episodes. I'm gonna be really interested just to see. I completely agree. That's what I was thinking after after we got done watching that. Oh gosh, I hope they dive into each character a little bit like this i think i mean we saw a little bit of fonts side with the you know when he was doing the whole (laughs) weed thing which was more of a comedic angle uh but i i do hope they dive into more characters in a serious way like they did right tonight and i feel like we're getting close to that because with russ and holly's whole thing going on (laughs) this episode i feel like we're like 
on the brink of getting our I'm romantic so sick moment of being with on them, the brink though right <laughs> give it to me just we're give like, me something yeah we're almost off the brink of it i, I i'm yeah. hoping because it's just getting weird now <laughs> It's getting now, a little too obvious. Right, it's There's so some obvious. clear sexual tension in the office. And now you're starting to feel all bad for Russ. Right. Because <laughs> Holly's like no longer like fawning over him. Mm-hmm. She's like kind of living her life, doing her own thing. Yeah. Lying here and there. Maybe if we think she's lying about the whole law school thing from last episode. But oh, she's yeah. kind of like moving along. And you see she wants to be there with him. But there's nothing happening. Yeah. So I'm kind of Did- over it. What did you think? Did you think when, so Russ has E investigate, so Holly gets flowers and Russ has E investigate who who sent them because Holly doesn't know, you know, it's a secret admirer sort of thing. And the assumption the whole time is that Russ sent them when he was drunk. Right. You know, his true feelings came out as Milt thinks and he, he was running toward romance instead of running away from his feelings. And I definitely thought that he would have been that it was oh, him i, I was, was so for sure i for sure thought it was him too i was like i just can't wait for it to unravel because it's like yeah please just send or, the flowers already or then... i almost thought that it was milt sending them as russ yeah i thought it was something like, like that too but i, I didn't like, think it was oh, milt though milt would ha- like of course he'd get involved and do something and then it's of course going to be him doing it you know and russ is going to be bitter toward him for stepping in like that even though it probably would have helped move things along for some reason i didn't think milt i thought it was one of the other guys yeah because they know too, they've known him longer. Right. I mean, so I. But Milt's I felt on like, to him so much more, I feel like. Yeah, Milt. I think is, everyone's on to it at this you point. No, everybody knows, but <laughs> Milt is, you know, using his FBI training to kind yeah. of read through Russ's emotions and whatever that means, or lack thereof, of when it comes to emotions for Russ. But he's so intrigued by it, and it causes these awkward conversations when they're investigating, you mm-hmm. know? They're, he's asking one question, and Russ is asking another question. It's just. It, this whole battle between them is just it comes in the most weird spots of the yeah, show like yeah. they're all looking in the car and like well this and this and this and well why did you do this like yeah it's, what it's, is going on it's very childlike yeah you know between them but i did feel like this episode they didn't have as much of that bickering no it was just these weird moments where they had these one line back and forth like yeah. in the office when they were you know going through the files it was like well why don't you special love to holly well why did you come to battle creek you know yeah. <laughs> what is going on <laughs> like yeah it's so they're weird. just trying to one up each other right. all the time uh but i did like you know how kind of at the end milt does help russ like realize his feelings and stuff so i feel like there's some trust forming there yeah i feel like every time they like give us a little bit of a breakthrough a little bite, in there, they yeah, take it away yeah this is like the the mo of this show they give you yeah. a little taste and they bring you back to reality like nope we're not giving Teasing you that. us all the time <laughs> yeah so back to the case so it ends up that you know Danny, Goose's son, ends up becoming the main suspect. Mm -hmm. So first they thought it was this guy, Rossi, this criminal. He'd come out, had a few arson cases, and they kind of are investigating, you know, his ex-girlfriend, Tina, and all this stuff. And then um, they catch him, and they're questioning him about all these things, and he admits to every all these you know arson cases and then they bring up Gusewitz's house and he's like I don't know him (laughs) dang it wrong guy and then they think it's Gusewitz's contractor who she also dated right (laughs) she's like he moved in when he was um he was re you know redoing my front entrance that's not a euphemism everybody was like wait a minute (laughs) love that who haven't you dated and what haven't you done right oh man so you know they think he's causing these fires to make more business for Mm -hmm. himself so he can then fix all these houses ends up that's not the case so danny becomes the main suspect and they have to bring him in and i i liked how this episode went more serious a lot of times i know we've had a few where the syrup one i think is the main one where it was like all a joke pretty yeah. much but but tonight's was went more for the serious chord i think that is like our trigger like we love those episodes this one and then we love the the one with the little girl like yeah. the, we love those like, I like when it gets a little bit more to the heart <laughs> yeah like i think they do a good job of just putting that together the mm-hmm. comedy is cool and I, I like to laugh and but sometimes it's just kind of weird for me so with with this laughing. particular show no, because it's not laughing <laughs> <laughs> not laughing but it's just 
crime and comedy. It's right. like, I think it's so hard to put the two together. Yeah, and I think they do an excellent job of having these serious episodes like tonight's and like the one with the, the little girl and the backpack drug issue, but then sprinkling the comedy in there to where yeah. it does make a lot of lighthearted moments, but it isn't overly comedic. I felt like the syrup one was overly comedic Super because comedic. the whole premise was about a syrup cartel, which is in itself completely ridiculous. And I feel like that takes me away from wanting to solve the crime. Like, this one, I was like, you know, right, on pins crime... and was like, wait, if it's not him, then it has to be, okay, wait, why exactly. would he do this? You know, it, it makes me want to be more intrigued because they're writing it, you know, they also give you like three or four twists. Right. You know, how they had three suspects here, mm -hmm. you know, who you really thought each one was possible, you know? So I really wasn't crazy about that one who just got released from jail, you know? I wasn't really thinking that was him, but no. between the son and the exes, it makes you think, but when you have so much comedic, time, you know, points in there, it yeah, makes the you crime like, becomes kind of irrelevant. Yeah, you're like, oh, who cares? It's let's wait for the next joke. You exactly. know, or this crime isn't like really that hardcore or that like, you know, intense. So exactly, uh, I'm not that interested. Especially when they're doing such so much work in character development, mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want to get like thrown off because, like I said, this was such a good segue from remembering what she did in the other episode. So some comedy can just throw me off. Yeah, I, I definitely want to see him continuing in this direction that we saw yeah. tonight. You know, seeing more more character backstories, more of the kind of serious with a bunch of comedy instead of the comedy serious split 50-50. Right. Completely agree. Uh, so they, like we said, have Danny in for questioning and, you know, he's denying, mm -hmm. you know, that he he did that and says, again i was getting so sad when he's being so hurtful about his poor mom there you know he's like <laughs> you could tell he didn't mean it i wouldn't do that because i don't care about her you he, know you i he know he's just it. being a stubborn how old is he he's being a stubborn kid he's in his 20s now yeah. Yeah. yeah so i mean he's fairly young enough and and so Goosewitz had told him, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to see you ever again until you're clean. Mm -hmm. And he pretty much said, well, I don't want to see you ever again. Just ever, trying to hurt her, you know. And and so we we learn his alibi ends up being that he was at a crack house, so he's still not clean. No, I guess. But I mean, in the end, you know, just the unraveling of Goosewitz and her her love affairs kind of made her realize how she <laughs> I don't know what it's to call them love affairs <laughs> made I, her realize how she was treating her son you know yeah. trying to just end it before it really got bad that was you know the, yeah. there it was so it was just ah oh, man that was a good that was yeah, a good story right, right there right to the heart right good it story hit, line hit us in the feels <laughs> it did no it was good and I do think they're I think they're setting us up to have that continue you know maybe Danny will be a recurring character or something like, yeah I definitely think so or just this theme of just you know the onion skins of each person the getting put in. <laughs> yeah, I just I just want to see more of that, and I hope that they continue. It's like it's really good. They write it very well. Right. You know, the comedy is great, but you know, this, the character development is written so well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I definitely I think that this one was one that connected back a bit more than other episodes, and also sets us up for more things moving mm -hmm. forward, like more connections. So I, f I feel like this was kind of a pivotal episode so far. Yeah, because this one is, this series is good because they're not making it new every show. Mm -hmm. They're finally tying things back. So you have to watch the whole season right. and, get, and kind of get involved, get invested into it. Yeah. You know? And I, it was interesting that, you know, this episode was different in a lot of ways, you know, because it involved one of the police officers directly involved in the case in that way, but also because it didn't, really involve like a real crime no, in a sense was like that so wasn't the main focus obviously the guy rossi he ends up getting caught for trying to burn someone else and a few other people so right. there was a real cr crime component and yes if you light something on fire you know and burn nearly burn a house down accidentally it's still a crime but so we look right. but, but the main <laughs> crime that happened this episode wasn't you know, a it, malicious it, one. Right, it wasn't malicious and it wasn't the focus, really. Yeah, I thought it was so funny, though, that it was, it ends up being what her neighbor. Her boyfriends? The, who he was so suspicious. An right, he was so suspicious in the beginning. He's like, I don't know why you're asking me about a relationship. I, I'm the one who called the police. Like, right. Oh my gosh. We should have known. Well, I, I had a guess from the beginning because when they asked, oh, well, did he call the police? Oh, then it's not him. If they wanted, you know, if the person wanted me to die, they wouldn't call the cops. I'm like, oh, but he's just trying to right. lead you off the scent. Well, in the end, he didn't want her to die. He right. was just trying to leave right. her a love note. Yeah, but I thought it was going to be him because he's, of all the 
extra actors that got brought in for this episode. He is the biggest actor. I don't know what his name is. I should have looked it up prior to this, but I've seen him in a number of different things. Right. And so I was like, oh, he, I bet he's the one. Well, I mean, he was just so <laughs> stupid. He was like, That's so you, funny. next time you want to leave well, a love note, that? mail it. Okay? Yeah, right? Or leave it like under her <laughs> doormat or doormat something. Like, well, she doesn't something. have a house now or a doormat to have it at. So thanks yeah, you a don't, lot. You don't sneak in to someone's house while they're sleeping and light candles like, next to their bed. I wanted you to bed. wake up to my love note. I, I wanted to do something bold to win you back or be a crazy <laughs> right. person. Now and you burned down you my house. Forever. I really don't want you. <laughs> right? Nuts. I also, on this note, I, I hope we see a little bit more of like Gusewitz's, you know, relationships in the future with like. I don't know, Maybe 17 guys. in three years. I don't think I don't we think will. I, I feel like up. we got enough of it tonight. <laughs> right. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up. Yeah. I won't be able to remember all those characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So good. Uh, so let's talk about Holly and Russ a little bit. We talk about Holly and Russ every episode. I know. We just, do. They're just making it so relevant. Yeah. And it's here every episode. I love how in the beginning he, you know, they're assigning everyone their tasks and he's like, okay, you go do this. You go do this. Holly, where'd you get those flowers? You know, like so quick to try and figure like, that out. Russ, tell me what's not obvious about this. Oh, yeah. Like this is it's, the worst. You could at least not like, trying to hide it. Right. You're not even trying to hide no. this. But every time someone asks you about it, you want to deny it. Mm -hmm. You're not even trying to hide it. Mm -hmm. This is so ridiculous. Yeah. I, and I just, I thought, I, I fell for it completely. thought he was the one who, who bought the flowers. And then he finally gets, you know, goes and confronts Holly. And he's like, he was going to so, tell her. He flowers. was going to tell her that he loved her. And he well, was like, no, that was the very end. But he was going to go tell her about the flowers. Like, I'm pretty sure I got the flowers for you. And she's like, oh, well, E, are, you know, E told me she thought you were worried or something. And she's like, right. well, he called. And it ends up being the guy who runs the coffee shop. Yeah, I thought at that moment he was going, he was like, I'm to, finally got the courage yeah, to tell her. Or no. at least say that he sent the flowers. Right, because, yeah, yeah. I thought he was going to tell her right then, like, I sent the flowers, you know, because he but believed it. I think it. he was still a little too scared. I think if... He was beating around I think the bush. he was going to say, you know, I was drunk or something. I don't know what I was thinking. Right. I feel like he that would have been his He play. was definitely beating around the bush a little bit, and then she oh, just yeah. came out. Oh, he called. I was like... And he was like, huh? <gasps> Wow. Right. Like, no, <laughs> no it? it wasn't Russ. <laughs> I know. And so at the at the very end, we you know, Milt kinda confronts Russ about his feelings and encourages him to go and, you know, kinda confess his love or right, something. Because and he like brushes up his hair a little bit and the little bit of yeah, hair that like, he has. He's like, What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. And he gets ready to go do it. I I was like, <gasps> here we go. And of course, Prince Charming walks in. Coffee shop man comes in. Coffee shop money for uh, sending roses. Coffee what, shop this, money, right? Does he work at the biggest Starbucks I don't know, ever? Maybe he's been saving up for a while. <laughs> but yeah, a bouquet like that's probably like a hundred bucks, right? To be sent. Yeah. What, what do you? What coffee shop do you work at? He was. He's been saving. He's. Oh, this yeah. has been a, like a burning crush for a yeah, while. Exactly. I guess. So she saved every she time. She said goes she goes there, there a lot. They chat and yeah. whatnot. Why couldn't he just ask her out? Yeah, Russ, get on it. You've got some competition. Mm, yeah, so that's they, true. They go on their first date, and though we do catch a little lingering glance from Holly as she's leaving, you as know, usual, she wants it too. Yeah, her heart's right there. She's yeah. just like, well, if he's not she's stepping like, up to the plate, what are you waiting for, buddy? Right, but he's. If you're not stepping up to the plate, I'm gonna just keep playing the field. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say this. I do like so the past few episodes or several episodes really we holly has been very key in helping to kind of solve the crime. she was not in this one but she was kind of was because she? not exactly because russ is trying to figure out what's going on and they're on the like revenge and like you know mean direction of it, it was mm -hmm. somebody trying to hurt you and kill you and he looks over at holly with the flowers on her desk and he, he goes what if it wasn't about killing her? What if it was about like romance or something? You know, he, oh, that yeah. looking at Holly kind of led him in that direction. So while she didn't, it wasn't her smarts and her actions that helped solve the case. It was, it was in her, her she presence. was involved. So I don't know if that's like, I bet that's intentional of them, you know, make, making Holly They have to kind of involved you know, in all yeah. these pivotal moments each episode. I think it's a way to keep her relevant. You know, yeah. until the whole love thing unravels. Right. Gosh, when are they going to do that? I don't know. Season we're two, only, what is going on? We're like, not even halfway through 
this season. I know. So we've so got we a, a lot of time to either wait or a lot of time to for them to date. No, they See need to I hurry up and that? get this. Oh, well, I don't. I don't think they're ever going to date. I, don't, I, don't I think it's going to be too much for them to give There's us. There's going to be too much tension, and they're going to give us like little sprinkles of right. like a kiss there or a, like a hand touch. Right, it's always going to be that. That's the, that's the, the storyline that drives this romance. Oh, yeah. The tension. It doesn't drive. It off. won't really. Or they could end season one with them finally kissing or something. And then they're gonna break up in season two. Like it's like Ross and Rachel. Like they were like it took like ten episodes for them to finally get it right. right. Like that's yeah. how the people write. Well, that's how you do. It. I mean, that's how you do. TV. That's how you keep it like, watching. Yeah, you got to keep that slow burn of the romance. But yeah, they have to. I think that they're gonna have to make it a little bit better in order for us to really stay on it because it's gonna get old to us. You know, just kind of we're gonna get used to it. Yeah. You know, Ross and Rachel, at least you know. They were together, then they weren't, then they were together, then right. they weren't, then well, they had a baby, much, then they were together. Yeah, like, so yeah. much more drama. And I think the interesting thing about this show in being a police procedural is when you have a normal police procedural with a lot of crime, like, you know, criminal minds or law and order or something, the the intense crime and the mystery of it is what keeps you going. It doesn't matter that the formula is necessarily yeah. is the same every week or, you know, th- those things... Or, or the character depth and stuff or the relationships, really. Those aren't the really important things right. each week. It's like, you know, the fun of watching what the crime's going to be and how exactly. they're going to solve it. And with Battle Creek, the crimes so far haven't been that intense or that mysterious. So I don't know that they have the whole crime angle to hold us over the whole time you know they've got to throw yeah. more, give us more of that romance they're definitely focusing you know? more on the characters and relationships because yeah. you know like with you know those csis and svus and all those kind of shows it's like every week is different mm-hmm. and the, the character development and like the relationships in the office and the you know precincts are so behind us yeah. back in not even a worry that you don't even pay attention to it where now you know these in Battle Creek, we're actually paying attention to who these people are and how they're relating to each other and how they've worked together for years and know each other. It's, it's more interesting than the... Although the crimes are kind of great. They're kind of funny yeah. and cool and make yeah, you so think. I th- so I think if they do, you know, ramp up the level of the crimes a bit and then keep us intrigued with either, you know, love story or the character development mm-hmm. and the, like, backstories, I think that'll be a good way to kind of keep that I keep agree. it going if you don't have the like hard hitting crime right stuff. i agree yeah yeah i oh, definitely am with that feeling yes all right well is there any anything else we want to cover from from tonight's episode or anything we left out no but i definitely like this one this is probably my second favorite my first Ooh, one is going to be the the one with little the little girl, girl. <laughs> yeah, that, little one girl still, that one was still a little too intense for me with some of the interrogation scenes with this like 10 year old it was and they're like, good though what are you I'm like she's like can't leave her alone <laughs> this one because it, russ was like he keeps you when he interrogates he keeps He's you good. on your toes yeah. like he, inter- he was very strategic in interrogating gusa's son in I this know. one you know yeah so i like that i was like you don't really think he did it why are you saying that he didn't think it it's all, it's all oh, yeah. to get him it's to all be all his strategy yeah he understood his anger yeah so he I'm totally did that. yep well why don't we i mean i agree this was one of my favorites too yes if not my yeah. favorite Oh, this is your favorite I number so. one over because you just didn't like the cake in the interrogation. Really, it got a little too intense for me sometimes. Like not that I couldn't handle it, just it wasn't believable. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Agreed so we'll, yeah, exactly. All right. Well, why don't we jump into a few predictions for next week? And now, all right. You're after Buzz TV. I've got a couple. What do you? Should I go first? Yes, you should. Because I'm like. All right. <laughs> I think we're gonna definitely see more of Gusewitz's son. And like she said in the end of the episode, I'm going to come back every day. I know I said I'm waiting to see you until you're clean, but no, I'm going to be here Mm -hmm. every day and I'm going to see you and I'm going to see you get clean sort of thing. So I definitely think we're going to see her revisit him. And I feel like in two episodes, I would love it for it to be in one, but I feel like in two, maybe one, we're going to get a a Gusewitz and Danny hug. (laughs) (laughs) You said that earlier and I'm like... I know. Um, I'm like, hug, hug. All right. If you if you th- if you say so, I don't. I'm not really seeing. I know. That. I want to see. I need to see Danny. You know, be loving toward his mom. I think it's gonna have to tie in with some other crime or something. Really? 
Yeah, it's, it, it, you know they don't it's continue pivotal. over. I know, yeah, I know. it's gonna be pivotal, so it'll be something else that has to tie that all in. It's just not gonna. So just it probably happen. won't happen next week. No, that's what you're saying. no. I so, say maybe three think, or four. Episodes. I think we'll see him yeah. next week. But next I definitely. Week? Uh, I'd say we're gonna see him again. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna tie in and just they're gonna bring her, just her character the, the way they're developing it. I think gonna bring it back. Yeah. Well, I think in in like two ish episodes we will see him again, <laughs> right. and I'm I'm predicting a hug soon. I want to see it. I think, or maybe I'm just hoping more than predicting. I think at least they'll <laughs> mention it. You know, she'll be leaving like I gotta go right, see Danny. Exactly. You know, something so like he'll that. be in the episode in that way. Right. I also think that I think Milt's gonna do something to help Russ with Holly. Aside from just like realizing his feelings and kind of calling him on his feelings. I think he's going to do something. And I I think Russ is going to kind of listen to him. Mm -hmm. You know, I think he'll finally be like, okay, I guess you have a point. And yes, I need to make a move sort of thing. So I think Milt's going to help out. And there, there'll be some bonding there and trust building, you know, because right. that's one of the things that, that Russ's and Milt's relationship is lacking is the trust. Mm -hmm. You know, once they get that trust, Milt will tell him why he's there, maybe. Right. Yeah, th those are my. That's, those I'm, are mine too. I only other thing I said, like you said, just I think the brink of a of a trust with yeah. Milton uh, Rust. That'll be it for me. All right, all right, good. All right, folks out there listening in, thank you again. As always, like we said in the beginning, make sure you guys are subscribed to us on YouTube. Yes. YouTube dot com slash AfterBuzz TV. Download the podcasts on iTunes and SoundCloud as well. Be sure to rate, subscribe all that jazz and tweet us throughout the week and comment on the video <laughs> down there it's down there send us some comments we want to know what you guys think about the episodes and stuff who's your favorite character what's been your favorite episode so far our, our predictions completely yeah. off <laughs> what are your predictions let's hear them ideas all right guys again i'm joined tonight by gary thomas gary where can everybody find you online i am gary thomas instagram and twitter and i am gary Awesome. And you guys can find me at Lauren Salon. That's L-A-U-R-E-N-S-A-L-A-U-N on every single social media platform <laughs> out there, pretty much. So so that's, that's that. Facebook, too. Yeah, Facebook, Don't look too. me up on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone go do it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to like a million favorite requests now. <laughs> awesome. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next week. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.